Hey guys, welcome back. It's time. We're going to take a look at a TikTok that's been uh, circulating. I guess it's, uh, I'm a little late to this, but uh, you'll have to forgive me for that. But I have lots to say about it. But first, let's watch the, the TikTok. And in case you haven't seen it, I know tons of people are going to disagree with me on this, but I, I want to know in the comments. Well, maybe after you watch the whole video in the comments or part way through all the way through whatever you want to do i want to know what your thoughts are on on all of this i want you to type it out your frustrations everything involved let's 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 watch the watch the clip is Bro, this we're not legal going to be able to come back to the omni <laughs> you got you got what oh my god <laughs> what what are you doing bro <laughs> Insanity dog. Look at this involving skies. Okay, somehow I'm involved in the assembly line here. All right. So I know very, uh, very exciting stuff. Uh, Gonna be. I don't. I don't know what to say here. I. I the outrage was real. People were excited. People were not excited. Uh, it got a ton of attention. And uh, I think anyone that was upset about this is, uh, is messed up a little bit. So, in my opinion, here we go. My, my very, very opinionated opinion. Uh, everyone needs to, to chill a little bit on this. Um, I will say, was posting something along these lines in bad taste and bound to good people worked up. Definitely, you can tell by the amount of views that are on the video itself. Um, are, are you giving? Are you just giving them more attention by sharing it? Yes, definitely. Am I as well by making this video? Yes, also, also, also giving them attention that maybe they deserve, maybe they don't deserve. Uh, but um, the thing is, I, th I think we should be critical about this TikTok, about what's going on here. But I, I also think people are upset for the wrong reason. So. Buying in excess and reselling is going to instantly make people mad. I think the the worst offense or the 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 worst offense here is is that they seem to have left the hotel room filled with empty tins. Uh, mentioned that they won't be allowed back. Um, and yeah, that is an extremely dickhead move. Um, the people that are gonna have to clean that out, the people that are gonna have to pay to people to clean that out. Uh, I think that's I think that's the worst part here. So, um, I know I've said this many times, but if you don't like flippers, raffle dogs, or ripping ships, the, the best way to combat it is, is just not buying from them. Tell friends not to buy from them. That's what it comes down to. Uh, most, most of the above, most of the people that I've mentioned here, that your flippers, flip, flipper dips, your raffle doggers, uh, they can't. They, they, most of them can't sit on the product they are buying. That's why you see so many of these uh, the ripping ships that just disappear because they they overextend. They end up not being able to sell the stuff. Maybe they got to like clear it out, uh, and and then they don't exist anymore. You don't buy from them. They don't exist. Don't like flippers. Don't buy from flippers. Don't like ripping ships. Don't buy from ripping ships. Different story. Yes, I know. If you're if you're looking to support a creator, if it's a fun time, uh, you know that that extra cost. You don't mind that extra cost to buy the packs, um, raffles. I don't know. Just I don't. Man, I hate raffles, especially when it's like they're they're charging like three x MSRP or three x what the the actual um, market value is on a card, and people just seem to not bat an eye at it. But at the same time, um, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be upset at these guys. I don't don't get me wrong. I, I think it was a, maybe it was was it like three D chess? They posted this. They knew people would get upset about it, and then they would get so many views on it. Maybe who knows? Um, if 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 I'll tell you what, if you want people to open cards with, if that's the reason that you're buying from, uh, you know, these razzle dazz, you want you want to be part of a community of some kind. Just join my Discord if you also want to save money. At the same time, Saturdays starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, we hang out in a voice and video chat. You can open your own, you can buy your your cheap and open your own cheap cards uh, in that video chat with others that like to do so. Everybody's welcome. Um, so in in this case, on screen we have a what is a 2020 flipper uh, who is still around somehow, um, and 
I mean, it, all it takes is like, you go look at like a profile, you scroll down, you look at like the oldest stuff that they have. Um, and uh, there, don't get me wrong, they, there were a lot, there were a lot that spawned at this point in time. We have 2020. Um, yes, it, it happened. It became a thing. It was profitable. Uh, I would say that a lot of them probably don't exist anymore just because, I mean, they shouldn't because everyone can just buy their own stuff, right? Uh, so you got to remember that a lot of these flip masters won't be around for the, the lows in Pokemon. And don't worry, we're, we're not really at a, an all-time low or anything right now, but there, there will definitely be more lows. It will happen. The people will lose interest. They always do. Um, and when there's less money involved, there's less of this flipping and reselling and everything else. We've already seen product avail availability come back. Uh, yes, it was pretty bad back in 2021 uh, when you basically couldn't get anything. It, uh, some of it was obtainable if you worked hard enough for it, but it was a pain. It was a huge pain in the butt, um, and um, even whether it was online or in store. Um, but I think some people are stuck in that 2021 mindset. The you know the the frosty the frosty caribou boohoo. We can't find anything on the shelves. But I also make videos about buying everything off the shelves. It's it's that we we still we're still stuck in that mindset, and it's just not it's not a problem. I I still see people posting that a big box store has product on the shelves, um, and I how it's, it's such a big surprise, but it's not. Sometimes they'll post stuff and they'll be like, "Oh, there's nothing here, but there's a ton of stuff there." It's just not whatever specific product just came out or uh, what's super popular, or it's not evolving skies. It, it'll be something along those lines. So, um. This is hold on to your seats, guys. This is gonna shock some people, but you can buy all of that stuff for less than the big box stores. I know it's a, the only reason the big box stores were a, a good deal, a good method to buy this stuff, was the fact that they couldn't and didn't mark anything up during the time where it was very hard to obtain this stuff. So, um, at this point in time in 2023, going to a Walmart and filling your cart with the stuff. Uh, whether you're there to flip it or whether you're there to beat the scalpers, it's not a good idea. It's it's a total waste of money. You can buy it for less. All right, so now to talk about the, the breaking down products uh, situation here. There are a lot of people doing this, whether it's ripping shippers, flippers, people who want to just open the packs, uh, even stores. This is going to blow your mind. Physical stores who couldn't get booster boxes for quite some time. I don't know what the, maybe that's like a new process or something like that. So at this point in time, for anyone that does want to keep a box sealed uh, or, or something of that sort, or just really wants to open a booster box versus other stuff, I would say that your best bet is to, on initial release, try to pick up whether you have to pre-order. I know with uh, uh, Paldea Evolved, it looks like there's going to be a little bit of a shortage on release. Uh, so something like that, pre-order. Uh, whether it's with uh, PSA Pikachu, uh, link down below, or if you're in Canada, dozecards.ca. Um, it, it's going to be a good idea. Pick up your booster box. But later on, this day and age, for whatever reason, they don't like to reprint the booster boxes, but the packs are still very available in other products. So it's it, it was usually that way to some extent. Like In this day and age, you would be insane to buy a booster box of Evolving Skies because what you what is it 300 over 300 USD at this point versus you can buy them in products and break the products down and open the packs so that's why that's why we're going to see more of this i mean it only makes sense it, it if you're going to open the packs anyway there's going to be a booster box premium if the booster boxes don't get a reprint as we've seen i i guess Evolving Skies is like the glaring um, example of this, uh, that, or like your early sword and shield sets, the packs are worth basically nothing, but you have some ETBs, uh, not darkness of blaze. Was it rebel, rebel clash, rebel clash, the really expensive ETB, um, is a sealed premium. It's because they didn't reprint the ETBs. So it's more expensive now because anyone that's collecting the ETB sets is going to need that ETB. So again, with the booster boxes, if you want a booster box, do it early seems to be the trend at this point in time 
But uh, you never know. The, the, you, you can never 100% predict any of the people that are saying, like, hey, I can predict the future. I know what's going to get a reprint, what's not. They have no idea. I don't even think the Pokemon company knows at certain points in time. It's, you can never predict what they're going to do. So with that said, you, I mean, anyone that, like, booster boxes with a markup when they're recent booster boxes, and that's, like, that's anything Sword and Shield, essentially, um, is is sketchy. It's sketchy, and it could get reprinted, and you could get burned on it. So, um, so we're not not we're not necessarily talking with the with the big bo- or with the uh, with the game stores, even the physical location game stores, the online game stores. Um, it's not necessarily Costco product, but they break down products that don't sell. It's it's just a better way to do so. Even the Pokemon Company um, will break down their products. So a lot of the Costco packs that are within those tins, etc., uh, could have been from other maybe failed or overprinted products uh, that were broken down and. Uh, and that's, you know, that's just how it works. It's, it's better to, to break it down and sell it. People will, you can put a mask on it uh, and it'll seem like it's a, a more exciting, better thing than what it is. Um, I don't know why it's it's hard to tell. Like, I, I guess there's a certain amount of like knowledge or like research that needs to be done in order for you to tell what packs are in which products. Um, but, whew, all right, so, um, where are we at here? And, uh, I had a list of, of comments, of things that I wanted to talk about. Um, right. Uh, not necessarily Costco, but they break down. Booster boxes uh, were not available. Um, so, and that's the thing. you got to realize that, like, whether these these people who are selling, reselling, uh, whether it's a store, whether it's a rip and ship, whether it's Razzle Daz, McTaz, who's promoting and running illegal gambling on the internet. Um, the, the booster box breakdown is essentially going to be the same thing uh, with less steps. So if if they can't get product from a distributor, if they can't get product from booster boxes themselves, um, then it's, it's just going to turn to this. And that's it's kind of the entire market. Whether you're a collector, uh, whether you're somebody that just wants to open packs for yourself, it, it's, it makes more sense to break the stuff down. So, um, most importantly, we have to remember that it's 2023 and there's Pokemon product available pretty much everywhere. I know um, that there, I, there's someone in the comments right now uh, that is just slamming their keyboard uh, that's saying that one Walmart in a big city that they went to didn't have anything. And I, I'm here to tell you that that doesn't matter. You shouldn't be buying from the Walmart anyway. Um, or maybe they don't have that exact thing that you want. Um, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't be buying from Walmart. It's, it's in 2023, if you're buying from Walmart, you're doing it wrong. Uh, unless there's some random product or deal that goes on that somehow makes it better for the, the vast majority of the product at Walmart, you're paying for convenience. You're paying the, the, the availability tax. Oh, and then you're also paying to go to the Walmart. So, um, I don't, I really don't, I don't get it. Um, Mostly that it's more expensive and you could support a game store instead. PSA Pikachu if you're in the U.S. Don't cards if you're in Canada. Links below. Um, so I guess my last point, and in, in, in relative to, to something else that happened recently, we, we have to mention the fact that people will be upset about this particular incident. Um, and there's constant there's comments all through at the bottom. They're like, think of the kids. Oh, the, the kids. Again, if you're buying every single thing off a shelf... Yes, that's pretty bad because there's the odd chance that like little Timmy is there with his parents and maybe they were going to buy him a whatever one of whatever products. So typically most kids, they're not getting very many um, booster packs. Uh, I don't, maybe the rich, the rich kids are hopefully the, the rich kids or the people with the rich parents that they, they know how to use the Internet uh, to be able to purchase products like this. But uh, or maybe they need to learn. So, um, yeah, we, we care about this. I'm, I'm getting off, off topic here. But uh, we, we care about this, but no one seems to care about the people who ordered the, the recent GameStop Silver Tempest in excess. I've seen towers, people posting towers of Silver Tempest. Um, y- you know, the, the pricing error in 1999 uh, Build and Battle, $20 Build and Battle stadiums uh, that were supposed to be like 50 or 60 bucks. 
Um, and I, I just want to know, guys, what's what's the difference? What is what's the difference here? Um, how is how is that any different than somebody? I mean, I, I guess where they posted a photo of it and it's like a sweet deal and they're like taking advantage of the fact that something was underpriced, like accidentally priced at twenty dollars. Is is that what makes it right? Instead of like giggling in the hotel and the intent to flip it or sell it. I mean, I'm sure some of the people that bought the Silver Tempest boxes, I'm sure there's lots of them out there that bought them just to resell them. They like if you were if you were a flip dipper, you'd have to be crazy not to. If you're located in the U.S. and you had the ability to buy those, and even if you sold them sold them for forty bucks, you're still kind of double double your money. So I'm sure there's lots of that that happened. There's lots of people that posted it in excess, uh, and yet I, I don't hear any like think of the children comments. It's it's like a weird it's a weird double double standard. I why why what's I don't see the difference. I mean, other than the fact that like hopefully you didn't bring those building battle stadium somewhere and leave the garbage all over the place, but, all right, so, I, I don't know, is, so, it, is the difference that, it, that you wanted the Costco stacking tins, um, is that, is that, what is the emotional response here, the fact that it's evolving skies, even if you can't find them in a particular store, um, I can, I can tell you right now, here they are online, uh, for purchase, I know it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it will be delivered to your house. So that, that's if you can't find them in store. They're discounted. They're seven dollars off at the moment. They're very available online. Um, I don't know how Costco shipping. You can probably get a membership, and you're going to have it shipped anywhere in the states. I'm not. I'm, that's how it works in Canada, but uh, I'm not sure about in the U.S. But uh, if that, if that's what we need, if anyone would like to buy some for some children. Uh, to to make up for the fact that uh, these guys were in the hotel again, I don't like, I don't condone their actions. I don't think I think f there are better things that you can flip other than like new product off the off the shelves. And then even flipping in general, it's a lot of work for very little gain. Uh, and again, they're not. There are going to be times where those those flippers just get completely weeded out. Um, but there, it, guys, if it's Evolving Skies, there are plenty of products that are available at MSRP that contain Evolving Skies booster packs. Ask me how I know. Um, I wasn't opening booster boxes. So whether you're opening, uh, whether you're looking to sit on a bunch of packs, I, I think the entire thing, the main main takeaway is the fact that the stuff is available now um, for anyone. If you want Evolving Skies, you can get it. That seems to be what is the the trigger factor here. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But remember, there's lots available. Also, I guess I probably should have mentioned the fact that not only is there lots available, but the more that people buy, the more that they produce, the more they're going to restock this stuff. Um, so it's just going to generate more product. It's not like a, it's not like they print it in a, a finite amount. If people are buying everything off the shelves, they increase the print run. Maybe there's a delay in that, but as we've seen, stuff is in excess at the moment. You can you can buy Pokemon cards. Certain products, no. There's always going to be certain products that are less available, more available. I'm, man, this is like way longer of a rant than I thought it was going to be, but thank you for everyone that stuck around through it. Holy crap, we're at 18 minutes. Join the Discord. See you next time. Love you guys. Bye.